many in sub-Saharan Africa still depend upon groundwater for their daily needs. Groundwater in most of these places is contaminated and drinking it without proper treatment regularly leads to outbreaks of contagious diseases. Chisenyi Health Center 4 in Kampala is overwhelmed by the number of people seeking treatment for typhoid since the outbreak started in February. With the number of cases rising each day, the government has... There are several reasons why most inhabitants of low-income settlements still use groundwater instead of, say, treated piped water supplied by government. Some people are either not getting this water in time or they don't get it at all or they cannot afford As the population of these settlements is expanding rapidly, depletion of the groundwater source itself is a real risk. Spring and wells are already going dry during summers in certain regions of Sub-Saharan Africa. A group of researchers and academicians from Europe and Africa have now started a four-year-long project in Uganda, Ghana and Tanzania to tackle this issue. We do not think that complex problems like groundwater management in peri urban areas in Sub-Saharan Africa can be solved by academicians only. So what this project is trying to do is actually to use an approach which we call transition management cycle. The first half of the project we are going to collect data related to groundwater, how does it flow, pollution patterns, water governance, finances and economics. And then in phase two of the project we are going to experiment with transition management. Essentially a social learning exercise to bring about fundamental changes uh, in structure culture and practices of societies. For the first time, transition management is being applied in low-income settlements of sub-Saharan Africa and for groundwater management. What this means is the inhabitants of these settlements will themselves be active members of the solution-seeking team, known as the Learning Alliance that will also include the academicians and any other entity that can contribute to the solution. Data from Phase 1 will be made available to the Learning Alliance so that they can learn from each other and together envision how the future for groundwater management should look like. As a group, they would then determine pathways to achieve the vision and define and carry out transition experiments till the vision is finally achieved. Despite the fact that peri-urban poor community residents live in relatively bad conditions, they still have their ingenuity to contribute to solutions to make their lives more comfortable.